we have one variable q of type line and what can we do with we have to initialize that variable uh, now and it's since lines are determined by two points uh, my proposal is uh, that we initialize, that the program initializes Q such that upon initialization P holds and what will P be? Well, there's no point in considering uh, lines that go through no points or only one point. Uh, so, uh, the very, the, we shall in initialize Q in such a way that the number of points on Q, no pole, number of points of Q, well, ideally, of course, it's exactly two, but I cannot guarantee that. It may be larger. But in any case, uh, we can confine our attention to Qs that go through at least two points. So that's being done. Next is the test. We now are going to create a repetition. Uh, whether this Q is acceptable. Well, it is acceptable if the number of points on Q equals two. However, if that number is larger than two, then something has to be done. Well, upon completion of this um, loop, we know P and the falsity of the guard, that is the no po of Q is at most two. Well, P says that the no po of Q is at least two, so hence um, the number of points on Q equals two, and we are done. Uh, well, the only thing, of course, is that uh, here, as a repeatable statement, we have to change Q under invariance of P. So this is the program. And uh, it's okay and does the job, provided that we can demonstrate that this program terminates. Now, uh, in order to prove termination of this program, we might have to do two things. First of all, uh, we might have to take into account things that we didn't know. Secondly, that we haven't used, that are given but we haven't used yet. Secondly, uh, we um, may have to resolve some of the non-determinism alias vagueness uh, in the statement that changes Q. Uh, one thing that I have omitted to point out, and that is that here we are confining our situation to this case that the points are not collinear. Because that was the circumstance under which we were going to uh, show the, the presence of a line Q so that no power of Q equals to. The fact that the points are not collinear implies that there are at least three points and therefore it's possible to initialize Q such that P holds. You see, because uh, to see to it that uh, the initial value of Q is such that at least two points lie at Q, you need at least two points. So here we are. Now, uh, what we have, n we have here made a very meager use of the fact 
that it is given that the points are not collinear, we have only used the consequence that there are at least two points. Uh, now, a uh, question, what general conclusion can we draw with respect to Q and the points from the fact that the points are not collinear? Huh? There is a point not on Q, yes. Uh, so my proposal is to take that into account by introducing a variable of type point, variable E will, of type, will be of type point, E will also be initialized. And the fact that the points are not collinear, I can celebrate that by seeing to it that when Q goes through three points, to, to, uh, through two points, E lies not on Q. I'm going to, and uh, the fact that this possibility to assign to the variable E a point that lies not on Q and to maintain that invariance, that is the way in which I exploit um, the uh, non-linearity of the given points. Notice that the possibility to assign to E such a value is the only possible conclusion that we can directly draw from the nonlinearity. Yeah? That is, the maintenance of this invariant extracts out of the fact that the points are not collinear everything that can be extracted from it. Now, a not surprisingly, in the change of Q, we will have to change E as well. Now, let us inspect a little bit what kind of freedom we have. Well, what do we know? Uh, well, more than two points lie on Q. So we can point to at least three points on Q, on, that lie on Q. Let us name them A, B, and C lie, sorry, lie on Q. And uh, E lies not on Q. Uh, and I will make a picture. I promise to you that that will be the only picture I make. Uh, and I wait a little bit. We have to change we have to change Q. Now what possibilities do we have? As it is, well I will make two pictures. Q. Okay, uh, here are A, B, and C, and here is E. Yeah. Claim is that we have only three possibilities for the new value of Q. And that's from E through this one, from E to that one, from E to that one. Because these four points are the only points the existence of which we can guarantee. <laughs> 